Hey, there was a man sitting at home reading the newspaper. He was relaxed, and all of a sudden his wife came up and whacked him on the head with a magazine. He looked at her, he was kind of astonished, and he said, what was that for? I was washing clothes, doing laundry just now, and there was a piece of paper in your pant pockets, and it said, Sally, with a phone number. <gasps> He looked at her and said, come on. He says, I was at a horse race, and that's the number of the guy that owned the horse, and the horse is named Sally. Oh, I'm so sorry. She apologized, and life went on. A couple of days later, she came up behind him again and whacked him with a magazine. He said, what's that for? She said, your horse just called. Okay, then. Now we got guns. boom -a -dee boom -a -dee boom boom Guns are always in the news because it's a political hot button, right? Since January, there have been 160 shootings. This is according to the Rolling Stone magazine and many other Democrat left-wing magazines and people. And this is a horrible thing, 160 shootings for the first three months of the year. Ah, how bad is that? And goes on and on comparing stats and different things. And now the Supreme Court is going to rule on things with regard to the Second Amendment. We're all doomed. That's kind of what they say, and that's what it's all about, right? Well, let me tell you something. Hang on here. Victims and all of this stuff, of course, it's up. But out of the 233 shootings in Chicago, there's no mention. And that's in the same time frame. 160 across the nation versus 233 in one city. And that city, as it happens, has more gun control than any other city probably in the world, right? I mean, certainly the free world, if you call that free, and, and I mean, all of this stuff going on and nobody even mentions that. I guess they just ain't mentioners. I mean, and also was not mentioned, is is that so many good people ward off bad people with a good gun all right there's two and a half million cases that have been reported at least and only each year of people stopping some bad guy from doing a bad thing to a good guy because the good guy is armed ah, here it is scared woman here it is she calls 911 and she says, help, help, someone is in my house and they have a gun. She's hiding under the table. 911 operator, miss, that's impossible. Guns have been banned. Bad guys will always have access to guns. And if you take all the guns away and, and they can't make any today, they'll use a baseball bat, they'll use a knife. They're bad people. You need a gun to kind of shoot back. Democrat mayors of cities who have said to defund the police are now having an abrupt turn and they're saying refund the police. They want more police now, more money because of huge increases in crime. Police are down and crime is up. Who to thunk? It's a leftist wake up call. Not really because they're unable to come out of that coma that they're in. I think because now people are saying, men and women, why do I want to be a police person? Really? I mean, you guys are always mad at us. You, you take away the funding for us. And we're not even allowed to, to really look after good people because if we are, we have to fill out forms and we're office workers and people sue us. And there's no insurance now in most cities for a policeman. So now if you own a home, you have to go out and put it in a family trust and all of these protective things, right? It's hardly worth it. So uh, you wanted to defund, now you want to refund, just go away. All the citizenry, get a gun. Look after yourself. You should be in charge of your own risk assessment anyway because these wackos that are running most cities, they don't do it very well. The Academy Awards, I never watch them because there's a whole bunch of commies. God put those people on earth to entertain us. Instead, they get up and they tell us how to live. I don't think they're really qualified for that, most of them with their lifestyles, but they do do that. And, and they did it again this year, apparently. But the good news is, is, is that uh, they've experienced a 58% drop in their ratings from last year, the previous year, 58%. That's kind of big stuff. If you're an advertiser, particularly, why do you want to advertise in a program that nobody cares about? 58% major, major, heck, why? Maybe just talk about the movies. And even, even I would watch a game. Movies are fun, it's entertainment, but, but you're coming at it, you know, you're these blah, 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 blah. The Liberal government of Canada, they say, hey, we learned something, found out something just recently that their visa application center is actually in China. Communist China, operated by communists. This is crazy. I mean, they collect personal data and all the information, then they forward it to Canadian immigration officials for decisions on who will be granted a visa to come into Canada. So you have a communist deciding who comes into a country. I don't know, I could, I'd have to repeat that a few times before it could even sink into me. Is this really going on? Yes, it is. I, <laughs> ah, the people that are working at the visas for the country are communists. Again and again, are you? Ah, 
The Canadian government now wants to determine and control what you read online. Now, this is the winner of all crazy things. And, and they probably will have this. This will happen. They're going to control it. Hitler did it. Uh, the government of Canada is putting forward legislation to give itself the type of powers we normally associate with basic dictatorships like China and Cuba and so on. The government believes that it should regulate all user-generated content for the internet, leaving it to the regulator to determine on what terms and conditions will be attached to the videos of millions of Canadians. It's up to them now to decide what you say. If you say something they don't like, if you call a liberal politician a name or say that you just don't like what he's doing or she, they will pull your video. Hitler did this and it worked well for him. I mean, Hitler is kind of an interesting study because people think he's a criminal. He's a war criminal because he lost, but he never broke a law, is my understanding. He created the laws and then he worked within them, much like the liberals are doing, but he actually never broke a law. These people aren't breaking laws either because they put them in place, right? Because they're in power. And they have the uh, NDP code for commies, uh, helping them all of the time. So the minority government effectively is a majority. I won't be allowed to talk anymore in Canada. I, I mean, the Trudeau government there, they're anti-Canadian. They hate Canadians. They're globalist and, and um, wow. And if you're white, you've got a real problem. It's not a, not a nice thing. I, I wish Canada had an opposition party with leadership that could tackle this and, and have Canadians vote for them because this is a killer. They're taking away your freedom, and, and y'all better stand up and do something. What can you do? I mean, 70-some-odd percent of Germans in Hitler's time were not in favor of what he was doing, but they were kind of steamrolled over, and, and it's happening now. We don't have the violence yet, the boom de boom stuff that Hitler did, but I guess maybe the COVID is kind of replacing that. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of moving pieces, but I do know that, that um, your rights, your freedom, is disappearing more and more every day and, and it's something y'all really need to consider and, and talk to your politicians and come up with a plan there's a solution here somewhere wow but it's pretty dangerous stuff y'all come back see ya